At any number of talent shows, street festivals, or sports halftime programs, you will have seen some very large canvases painted very quickly to depict recognizable faces and scenes. They are often accompanied by loud music and choreography, and the canvas is usually toned dark and the lights are kept down low. The artist may appear to be ambidextrous, and towards the end of the act will often reveal that they have been working upside down all along. But all these things are distractions in the execution of a kind of magic trick. The artist has only one thing that must be achieved, and that is to get a few carefully designed abstract shapes on that canvas within the time limit. Any other spatters, splashes, and wild strokes are largely irrelevant. That's because they understand that a simple arrangement of shapes can be enough to trigger the recognition of a familiar face or object. They are typically painting shapes that represent light patterns on the subject, rather than meeting the audience's expectations that a painting would begin with a drawing. And if they do it upside down, it's partially to prevent the subject from being guessed at too soon. So, how do they achieve this? Well, of course, they've had plenty of time to prepare and to rehearse. A photograph has been reduced to just two values, dark and light, and edited so that a bare minimum of shapes are being used. These are then scaled up to the size of the canvas, and from the performer's point of view, they become just a set of abstract blobs that will need to be filled in. This young lady was candid enough to describe her method. She practiced by doing many, many repetitions of the same image to fix the shapes in her mind. Some, like this chap here, I think, will have memorized his shapes with a grid system. Notice that his first marks are careful proportions plotted on a vertical axis. Now I have to applaud those performers who actually committed these templates to memory. But some of these entertainers are just filling in very faint drawings, which they can see up close, but which the audience and the cameras are too far away to pick up on. In some of the YouTube videos I watched, this was pretty obvious. So what can those of us who paint more slowly learn from this? I think it may be that the burden of creating a successful image may not be so heavy as we imagine. If we can manage to place just a few key shapes correctly, our viewers may not notice or care if we are much looser in other parts of our painting. Well, if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll probably see me use a similar method to establish a base pattern in three or four values for the first of my painting layers. It's kind of up to you. I hope that was helpful. Take care.